So for today's topic, we are going to talk to you guys about whether you should or you should not fit your LPS corals. So there's a lot of you guys been asking me that, hey, should I fit my LPS corals? And why should I fit my LPS corals? So we are going to look into the topic on why you should fit your LPS corals and what are different types of food that I use to fit my LPS corals. So if you wonder like um, LPS corals, right? Most of them has really um, nice flowy tentacles and then they usually have very large mouths, am I right? We take a look at one of uh, my favorite LPS corals, which is the elegance coral that um, has been with us for many years. Um, have you guys ever touched an elegant and wonder why are they so sticky? And look at the mouths of elegant. Um, usually they have pretty big mouths. And why do they have such big mouths if they don't require feeding? Have you guys ever wondered that? Like in particular, most LPS um, do have really big mouth, um, really showy tentacles, which like over here we have the fungia. Fungia have a very nice um, one uniform large mouth in the middle, right? So if LPS corals have such large mouth and showy tentacles, doesn't they resemble something else that catches food and it's like the apex predator for the inverts? Um, which is the anemone. Don't you feel that they are very closely uh, related? So that's is one of the mention why I do recommend that you guys feed LPS corals. So compared to SPS, right, or the soft corals, um, their polyps are actually a lot smaller, which kind of allows them to be more filter feeding. But however, for LPS, right, the way that they are designed the large mouth and the sticky flowy tentacles shows that LPS corals actually do able to hunt for their food. So for example if any fish or any stuff that goes too near to them right, LPS corals actually do have the capability. Not all of them but some of the um, LPS corals actually have the capability to paralyze prey and being able to consume the prey whole into their body. So if you don't feed LPS corals, right, what happens is they will still do well, they will still thrive because they are still photosynthetic corals. But however, from my past 10 years of experience, right, if you do not feed LPS corals, two things you will lose out. One is most of the time your LPS coral will not look um, that flowy. Don't get me wrong, I do have um, some hobbies, some reefers who never ever once feed their LPS corals and the corals still look fluffy. Um, two, the LPS corals will not grow as fast as they will, which if you give them constant feed um, every day, right, or every other day, you notice that your LPS corals, be it is like the elegance, the fungias, and those that just gets bigger and bigger, right, um, they will just keep on going bigger. The branching variants and the other types that multiply the different heads, you do see a significant increase in the head size compared to if you just leave them alone and let them just follow in the size. So, do you really need to feed your heart, um, your LPS corals? I would highly recommend you to do so. Um, the next part that we will go into is what are the different types of food that you can actually use to feed your LPS corals, and what are the food that I recommend for you guys. So for the um, the entire Reef Studio, right? Um, there is four different types of feed that um, I use a lot um, to feed all of the LPS here. The first one that I will show you guys, right, is this uh, product by Fauna Marine. So Fauna Marine have this LPS pellets, which is by far my number one favorite food to use. Because why? The pellet size is good. You get very nice large pellet size uh, which you are able to turkey base them onto your LPS corals and they kind of gives you that drastic um, effect whenever you put the pellets on them right you actually see them um, re reaching out grabbing it and you will see them open their mouth and consume the pellets down which is a really nice um, thing to see and nice thing to observe which the Fauna Marine LPS pellets is like one of the 
best best recommendation that I do recommend you guys I feel it quite often and a lot here in the studio I do like alternate feeding for the LPS pellets highly recommend um, you to get that if you really want to go with a full LPS tank and you really like um, to feed your corals right this pellets is like one of the best pellets to go for the second type um, I don't really have it right now uh, which is it's not really for LPS though this is um, it's made by um, Vitalis it's mainly made for um, anemone which is the anemone pellets so like I've mentioned way earlier in the video right um, that LPS is very similar to anemones so this pellet is actually created for anemones but I do notice that this pellet is also very very effective for LPS so if you're not really a fan of the Fauna Marine and you are like a diehard fan of the Vitalis brand right which I kind of really like the Vitalis brand as well um, you are able to get this as well I believe most uh, the Fauna Marine and the Vitalis anemone palettes right works the same um, they give the same kind of effect the same kind of um, feel in terms of growth wise I don't really see much difference in either one of them LPS they still um, are very slow growing um, corals compared to your SPS and your soft corals so um, this is the other two that I would highly recommend you guys to go for the third one is um, one product that I have shown you guys last week which is the um, the Barrel Reef Labs LPS uh, Micro Pulse um, Coral Food which is a very different um, feed compared to the other two that we mentioned earlier this is a Micro Pulse um, feed which like I did mention on the other video right that you don't really get that very drastic um, effect from feeding them um, like you guys can see right when you base it down it kind of look a bit like a very small powdered food but however this food is good for people who are the kind of people that don't really like to target feed your call your tank and just want it to flow everywhere right um, this is one food that I highly recommend you guys to go for if you feel that every two days or every week putting your hand into the water um, to target everyone with the photo marine or the anemone pellets is a huge huge chore for you right and you just want to broadcast feed into your tank i would recommend you this third product which is the uh, barrel reflaps the lps pellets um, really like them a lot the pellets do not really power do not really cloud up the water um, they do retain very well fishes do eat them as well they do not foul the water which is very important for broadcast um, types of food lps love them i do see very good reaction with the lps so very different product um, that you will compare with the other two in front the other two is more for people who really likes to target feed their corals this is more for people who don't really like to target feed their corals but once in a while want to do it most of the time just want to broadcast feed the barrel reef labs highly recommended for you guys the last feed is um, is a little hack that I want to share with you guys this feed is actually not made for corals at all um, you don't really get it in coral stores or most LFS saltwater LFS actually do um, the third one is actually a, a four five sorry it's more of a uh, more traditional but yet a trick um, have you guys ever seen people feed uh, market streams small stream meats to your LPS corals I believe the older generation like us um, we do use that when all this small LPS pellets um, is still not out in the market yet previously many years ago what we actually do is that we will cut up small prawn meat and we'll give it to our LPS as well so that is a huge huge chore because you have to buy market prawns you have to do it all over again you have to cut them up dice them up before you can actually feed it to your corals so what I actually noticed um, that with freshwater keeping right they actually have this um, small little free strike strips they are not they're like little super bars um, really good size frozen free strike dried up container um, which is mainly used to feed like more carnivore monster fish arowana kind of food they do have very good response with lps corals as well um, which is also way way easier to feed this food right it's freeze dried so you can actually just open a can and just feed it immediately you don't have to defrost prepare and 
get your kitchen and stuff so dirty but however because they are freeze dried right this little food here tends to be a bit dangerous because they are pretty sharp especially during the rostrum area so if you're going to feed it to fleshy LPS right do be careful that you do not penetrate or do not injure your LPS corals what I usually do is before feeding this stream to my LPS coral right I will pre-soak them in uh, my tank water first get them a bit squishy mushy and a bit soft before I feed them to my corals so this is one highly recommended it's really cheap really affordable and it's one fun way to feed your corals so these are the four different types of feed that I use for the studio which I really highly recommend you guys to go for either one of them you don't really need to go for all four all four I believe is a bit overkill it's gonna cost you a lot of extra money just for this hobby go for one that you like depending on the recommendation that I have for you guys um, give it a try let me know how you guys feel that your LPS is growing if you like all these videos I put up for you guys right if you want to see a separate video on different coral topic like for example soft corals or you want to do an SPS um, feed coral video right do leave it down in the comment below um, I would really love to do so much more of this type of video to recommend a couple of different products and what to do and what not to do little tricks here and there on in this hobby trade so same thing you like all the things that we've done up for you guys like share subscribe to the channel uh, we are at 1.6k now we are hitting about 2000 soon so please please do subscribe to the channel and same thing next sunday i will see you guys um back here for another episode of um our studios progress so same thing like subscribe and i'll see you guys soon next week